We shall continue working through offensive. Beautiful, beautiful recruitment time. Well, obviously, we need to get our Carolinians into the uh, the, the front lines over here. But uh, in the meantime, I'm not really too worried about this. We're just going to be chilling and uh, stacking wiping, right? This is how we do it. Super easy. This has been absolute cake. I uh, am kind of blown away at how well my armies have managed. Um, Sweden is definitely... The, the, the diagnosis, Sweden is definitely, definitely overpowered. Uh, we're also filthy rich, which is kind of nuts. And now we have a short truce with these guys, right? 81. So, yeah. All we need is those two provinces for the Sweden is not overpowered achievement. Uh, where are we at here? Uh, right here. We just need to take these four provinces. That's it. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Uh, so, yeah, we're just going to wait until we siege us down. This is all we want. 18. But since we're full annexing them, we got to... Go through the hassle of like sieging down every single person in the war because reasons. Yep. That's just uh, the annoying part of playing this game. That's how it works. Keep looking to the sky. A great comet because we have innovative ideas. I love that. Yeah. We definitely need to be mindful of our navy. We can upgrade these guys, but I'm going to wait until we take this tech. The early frigate. Nice. So, as a matter of fact, I'm going to wait until the yearly tick here. No innovativeness. That's crazy. I'm going to take it six years ahead of time and I still don't get innovativeness. Feels freaking bad, man. I guess I'll divorce my consort again. I thought I just did that a minute ago, but apparently I did not. All right, let's take this tech here. Ah, uh, screw it. We'll take admin as well. Stay nice and far ahead of time. Let's just save our mana up. Um, and then we need to upgrade our navy. So... A nice little trick here. Since we've got our navy home at war, we can just upgrade right now. Look at that. These guys are home at war, so you can just upgrade them. And these guys upgraded as well. And these guys upgraded as well. That's our transport fleet. Don't need them. Hey, beautiful. Now, how, how old is Carl Gustav? Or Carl? Yeah, because we need to... If we're going to do this, the reason why I'm sitting on this is because I want to do... Uh, states general, but it does, it immediately hire or has an election. Like you immediately will have an election. So it's not something we want to be working. Like it's something you want to, you want to do it eventually, but you don't want to do it right now because if you have a leader that you want to keep, then, you know, there's no reason to keep, to get rid of them. So Constance is already Protestant. Everybody in the war is already Protestant except for you guys. You guys are not. Oh, you are nice. Perfect. 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 All right. So. Yeah, I guess we're just going to wait until we win a couple more sieges. This is dumb. This is so stupid. So stupid. These guys are full occupied. All their allies are full occupied. But for some reason... Let's see here. I, um... Yeah, 99% war score, by the way. Might as well take this too. Yeah. No, no claim, so... No need. No need. But now we actually can walk our armies all the way around here. And all we need... I don't need Neue Brandenburg, right? Just these two. That's it. Cool. All right. So that gives us this one up here. The German coastline gives us core creation cost, which is nice. And claims on Saxony and Vesa. Bane of the Hansa. State of Mecklenburg. Nice. I don't have it stated, so I should probably state it up first, right? So let's go ahead and core this all up. And uh, let's actually get our entire army grouped up over here in like Lubeck and kind of take an inventory of where we're at. Because, obviously, we need to uh, be kind of mindful of this. Our combat width is 29. So let's go ahead and make an army template here. So 29. So we want 30, 30 cannons. Let's go with 6 cav. And uh, usually I like to go a little extra. So we'll go like 28. It's perfect. Uh, that way, if some of our infantry die, we have more kind of reinforcements to put in. So that will detach these guys. So this 24 stack is now a free agent, right? So we'll have this army come on over here. Let's have you guys suppressing rebels, of course. Probably need to build a depot there. How much attrition are you taking? 1%? Really? They're pretty close as well. That's unfortunate. If we come over here, though, then they're good. No? Oh my gosh, it's so close. What kind of a general? Three maneuver? All right, whatever. 
we'll split them up. I was I was thinking we were gonna be able to, you know, kind of skirt by, but it's just fine. It's whatever. We're gonna end up having rebels over here. So let's have you guys brought over with the bowets. A reform has been revoked. What? Oh no. <laughs> Uh, poor, poor guys. So now I could get elected emperor. <laughs> we could, if we wanted to. I don't really feel like it. It's not really something that appeals to me. I got in a comment about it asking, but uh, yeah, it didn't really appeal to me. We could go to war with France and Spain, but Austria is already getting their teeth kicked in in this war, so it doesn't seem like it would be an intelligent uh, intervention on my end. All right, let's get you guys down here to Moscow. That's where those uh, Muscovite separatists will fire for the most part. So we'll suppress with you guys. All is well. Um, no, I will not give you that unlawful territory. You can uh, suck, suck on my balls. And uh, the Holy Roman Emperor has been re-elected. Well done. All right. Cool. More pips, please, for my generals. More pips. Um, Let's see here. Get rid of you. Let's go with idea cost. I should have done that before. Foolish. I'm a fool. But yeah, we are crushing through this. Look how much mana we are generating. Absolutely incredible. Shipbuilding time and ship costs. No, I will not do that. That's a trap. It's a trap. Uh, right. So how much money am I making from trade now? 176. Could be better. Could definitely be better, but it's fine. Let's do these and uh, let's upgrade all of my forts. So you sort by price and then you go by the cheap ones because those are the ones that are already upgraded, right? Um, this is fine. There's some, a bit of overlap here. Like we don't really need this one here because this one here communicates right here with that one. Uh, this one is not really necessary either. So let's go ahead and get rid of this one. Right. Get rid of that as well. Um, let's get rid of the one in Narva. Oh, are these not done? Oh, they are done. Very good. Um, so yeah, this one with Moscow converts, touches up here. These two touch right here. So this is perfect. Um, now, yeah, there's a, quite a bit of overlap over here. So let's get rid of this one. We'll keep the one in Rostock. We'll keep the one in Volgast. And this one touches here. Or this one touches here. So that's fine. That one's already a level four, which is nice. Muscovite rebels. So just like that. Nice. Perfection. Now, what is you at? Let's go ahead and upgrade you. Why not? We can toss some bodies at it as well. We've got plenty of manpower. Um, That's fine. We're not going to have any rebels. If we do, they won't be, you know, anything I'm concerned about. Right. I should probably be making sure that I'm getting my crown land yoinked. Um, yeah, I don't. That's unfortunate. We've got plenty of mana, though, so we should probably be developing. Yep. Develop, develop, develop. Very good. There we go. I don't care about tax. So that right there gets us up to 60, which is great. And as soon as these guys all go over... Oh, they're not going to go over it. Right. Okay. So let's just go ahead and do that. Oh, we didn't have rebels. Oh, nice. Uh. Okay, cool. Well, that's perfect then. Ideally, we keep these three because we get the extra mana. Uh, as far as absolutism goes, we're not that close to it. So <laughs> seems like we're good. Uh, honestly, let's go ahead. How are you guys doing? Let's make sure we're improving relations with these lads. I don't need your spy network anymore. Our favors are, our trust is maxed out with these guys. We definitely need to be investing into favors with these guys and then getting our trust up with them. That is going to be super important. Another siege tech. Nice. Oh, let's go. Austria just <laughs> yikes. <laughs> Poor guys. Never stood a chance. That's what you get for being the emperor when uh, Sweden is overpowered. Good news. Less inflation. That would be nice to deal with right now as well. Less inflation. Let's see here. How you doing? We'll go one more. Very good. 77 trust. Auto man loves me. Let's go with dun 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 dun. You get you up to level three. So good. I mean, I could, I, I know I could be doing a lot more. I'm not going to go colonial, by the way, by the by, um, right. Let's make sure we are stating up this one here. Nice. 
We've already got prosperity. No, we do not. But now we do. Look at that. Nice. We've got this one as well. Cool. So we got lots of claims on the Danes, especially a Scandinavian empire. So this allows us to form Scandinavia. Nice. Maximum absolutism plus 20. My goodness. And this one requires the entire Baltic coastline is either owned by Sweden or subjects or allies. Okay. <laughs> the reward depends on how the mission gets completed. By owning or having a subject own the entire coastline, we will get splendor in the years of separatism for the rest of the game. Cool. So does this say be our friend or our allies? Ah, well, we are definitely going to own it. Our truce with them is up in May. So let's get you guys over here. Obviously, we're going to just annex them. They're guaranteed by Bohemia. They have no allies, though. Though I reckon the emperor is going to uh, defend them. You know, that's not that's not surprising at all. Okay, let's have you guys suppress up here as well. What the heck? Oh, apparently we can just, you know, just, just form Scandinavia. Hey, how about it? So this is a nice little mod I have. This is actually Iron Man compatible. You can see here, we can compare our ideas. So we got Merc Maintenance, Infantry Combat Ability, 20%. Uh, you can see, where is it at here? Um... So, do we keep the 20% infantry combat ability? Cavalry fire. That's pretty useful. Uh, construction costs, goods produced. So, the discipline, we we keep our discipline. 15% goods produced. So that's a 5% buff. Construction costs, global possible number of buildings. Really? So, we can build one more building in every single province. That's actually pretty nice. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen that in a national idea. So, that's good. Uh... Admin efficiency, possible policies, uh, Danish Baltic fleet, trade efficiency, ship durability. That's nice. Morale of navies is fine. Uh, cav cost and infantry fire, or cav fire is good. 20% infantry combat ability, yearly absolutism, max absolutism. That is awesome. So, of course, we shall embrace Scandinavian traditions. And just like that, we are absolutely bussing on God, on God. And we are now Scandinavia, which is cool. In 1581. <laughs> oh, I love that. So... This one here, we need to core up Moscow and uh, core it up. And then we need, to, oh, hey, I should get it for us, right? Oh, we need to accept uh, Muscovite culture. That's okay. I can do that. And now we can click this one, which will give us max promoted cultures and some prestige, which is nice. Now, let's see here. Ugh. yeah, I don't know what to do about this. What does this give us? The route of the Varingians, huh? Varingians? Interesting. All right. So anyways, when is our truce up exactly? May. So it's gonna be May. Prestige from land battles is solid. Truce with some people is over. Let's get some more truces over and uh, wrap this up. This will be good. All right. We don't need you guys drilling anymore. And then we will attack them. Could have done it a minute ago. NASA will not join them, which is awesome. Let's get you guys over here. Hello, nerds. Goodbye, nerds. <laughs> Sucks to suck. All right. Convert, convert, convert. Of course. Convert everything. Uh, now, all I want is these two provinces. AE is super freaking high. What the heck? This must be a crazy dev province. 27 and 21. Yeah, it's understandable. That's a, uh, yeah, that's quite a bit. Why does it say I'm going to, it keeps on telling me I'm going to, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, divorce my wife. And then I don't divorce my wife. If I'm going to divorce my wife, let me do it. You know, don't tell me what I can and can't do. All right, let's get you guys over here and uh, get them off my forts. Of course, we've won the siege of Stettin. Very good. Let's get over here. Siege that down. All right, you guys are about to get absolutely clapped. So, oh, the sinking of Vasa? Swedish warship Vasa was built? Did I just lose a naval battle? No? A heavy ship of Scandinavia has sunk. You're a damn liar. Where did this happen? <laughs> Our reputation is ruined. Feels bad. The Vasa has been sunk. By the way, from what I've heard, a very interesting museum in uh, Sweden. The Vasa Museum in uh, Stockholm. I didn't make it. I didn't go. Oh my gosh, we just stack wiped them. I didn't go to the museum. I didn't have chance when I was over there for stock or for uh, uh, whatchamacallit. 
The lure of easy money. Better play it safe for sure, right? Growing business, goods produced at the cost of tax. No, I'll play it safe. I don't want to risk losing my uh, my good little stats over here. My wife is texting me. Oh, she run into Dollar General. Or as I like to call them, call it Dollar Genitals. I, I got jokes, right? Yes, this is good. Yes, yes, yes. Now, as Carl gets older, we will soon. Nice, free money. We will be considering switching over to... Um, Damn, dude. <laughs> this is crazy. That is a lot. Uh, if I just wait like two years, I should be able to avoid most most of the coalition. But uh, yeah, we have a, a store chain in America called Dollar General. And uh, I call it Dollar Genitals because I think I'm funny. Their defensiveness is freaking nuts. Are you serious? Defensive mentality to the last man. What in the world? You guys are crazy. Guys are absolutely crazy. Crazy men. Look at these armies. They're like, hey, we've got an army. See? We've got an army, right? Something like that. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> this is fine. Um, so we lost our stab. It's okay. We'll go with the state's general now. That way we will elect a leader. And, uh, ah, shoot. Ideally, you go with the monarchists. Two, three, two, four, three. Um... I mean, honestly, how many points off is that? That's a uh, six, nine, and this one is nine. So yeah, let's just go with the monarchist. Then it's fine. In 19 ribbing, huh? You can still get PUs with this. A lot of people don't know that. You can definitely, definitely still get PUs. All right. Very good. Let's get you guys over here. Loot the crap out of them. Bohemia wants out. So I will happily let you guys out. Very good. You guys suck and I hate you. Goodbye. You are the weakest link. And, um, yeah, we're going to have to, um, got black flag. Very good. We're definitely going to get, um, call for pizza very quickly. So we need to be mindful of that. I don't want to actually loot this. Just want to take it, occupy it and get out. There you go. Suppress, suppress, suppress. That's what we do best is suppress. Yep, and um, let's see here. So, Muscovy can't. Eh, Bohemia, Bremen, and East Frisia. Shoot, man. <sighs> All right, well, we'll see what we can do here. Of course, religion, of course. There we go. How's the coalition looking? It's pretty bad, but um, I think we're okay. Let's core that up. And, uh,. Owned by us, Scandinavia. Oh, we gotta take this Martian too. Come on, man. Come on, man. Didn't get the memo for that one. All these freaking like OPMs that I have to keep going to war with over and over again. Quite annoying, but it's fine. It is fine, Chad. It's fine. Do need to take this Martian. Ottomans is going to war with the Knight Cyprus and Venice. Sounds good. Off to war we go. Hi ho, hi ho. Um, this is nice though. This actually removes people from being able to join our coalition. I will 100% send my boys over and siege down the hog because what this is going to do is this is going to allow us to, um, oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Our transports. Yeah. Yeah. That's not appropriate. My transports are separate from my other boys. So let's uh, make sure we do that. Give these guys at least a month or two to repair. Yeah. That could have been bad. If you don't know, transports are literally like dog shite so okay let's have you guys head on over siege down the hog first circumnavigation very cool this will allow us to siege these guys down they might attack us they might I wouldn't be surprised if they did but it's fine um but gives us more trade power here and if you don't know the more trade power you have in one node the more you propagate upstream to another node so if we have like 100 percent trade power here um then since it's an end node we can actually get more trade power over here Kind of complicated how it works, but uh, super, super good information to have. Let's actually have you guys land over here on Hamster Dance. The Dancing Hamster Land. And uh, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to piece these guys out separately to take their trade power. Same with you guys. Peace out. Force Religion, of course. All your money. Blah, blah, blah. You guys suck. 
All right, let's get you guys down over here. Another nice general. Very good. Yeah, I don't think so, Venice. I do not think so. I do not think so. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Come on, baby. Look at all these cannons. Look at all those chickens. Let's get you guys siege down. Let's come on over here and beat the tar out of you guys. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Good stack wipe. Let's get you guys in here real quick. I lost a battle somewhere. What the heck? <laughs> Wasn't even paying attention. All right, Brandenburg. You are already my brothers in the face, but you will give me my give me some trade power. Holland now. You will give me money trade reps. You don't get a say. I'll wait for your navy to die real quick. Okay, there you go. If you wanted to wait, you could have just told me. And uh, take some money from them. But now you see we have trade power here, which probably gets up. We were at 75, now we're at 79. That's pretty cool. Uh, we should get black flag, yeah? Nope. All right, let's get these boys over here. Let's peace out, Denim. Denmark then. That should get us black flagged. Why am I not black flagged, man? Dang it, Bobby. Alright, but now we can click this one, which will give us um, Splendor and Years of Separatism, which is nice. Let's see here. Theological. So, Inquisitor of at least level 2 hired. Missionary Strength versus Heretics. Okay. Great power rank of at least 4. I'm still not rank 4? My goodness! Well, to be fair, I've, <laughs> I haven't really been taking a whole lot of land. Uh, let's take that Miltech, of course. My goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely value Miltech for better. I will infantry upgrade my infantry as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's go with the fire damage. And those guys are getting brought over now on the boats. Continue converting, of course. Venice definitely need to... Uh, Get them off my lands here. So Venice is just going to get like... Oh, wow. Venice has an army, bro. Oh, they got an army. Nothing I'm worried about. It's just they've got an army, you know? It's more than uh, more than what some have. Okay, so let's get over here. Take this back. Let's get you guys down uh, here to see John Regensburg. So we should have extra cav shock and fire. So our cavalry are not useless. If you can believe it. Uh, I'll take some corruption. That's fine. I don't mind a little bit of corruption, you know. Tasteful. Tasteful amount of corruption. Let's, um... Let's just, um... Have you guys handled up here. And let's go get Riga occupied as well. You guys have no rights to be doing this. Got a license for that, mate. We've got 16,000 duckaroons, which is absolutely crazy. Um, has a fort there. Build one there. Might as well build another one like right here that will communicate up here. Build one here. This is fine. These guys are level four as well. Yeah, that's a four. That's a four. Yeah, man. All right. We're just, you know, got to gotta ride it out. That's all. Um... Oh, yeah, baby. Look at all this production. We are going to be so rich. And let's just start uh, spamming these guys out, you know. The more we have, the better. More goods produced means more money. And I like money. Grant aid. I literally just spent all my money. My goodness. All right. This is fine. Let's get our boyos. Yeah, I'll just keep them here. It's fine. Get them over here to Stetten. It's nice because I, I'm, I haven't had a coalition form, which is good, right? Right, right, right. All right, very good. So somebody peaced out. I don't know who it was. Regensburg, probably. Don't matter to me, none. There you go. And I will handle these rebels and that's it. All is well. We are making 200 ducats per month. That is absolutely insane. We are making well over half. Look how much money. We are making 206 ducats a month just from trade alone. Absolutely bonkers. We've got so much dev to be doing as well. Okay. Yes. All the metal and all the, the fur and my goodness. We've even got cloth. Legends. Wool. 
fur. This is expensive though. <laughs> Deving the fur is. Uh, and then same here, just kind of go down the line here. I will actually make sure we have at least stab three though. I value that over tech or over um, dev. That is, De dev is what I was trying to say. But uh, yeah, Stettner Separatists going to get handled here and that's it. We're good. We're so good. So Theologian or Inquisitor. Let's see here. Theologian. That's this guy of level two. Very good. So missionary strength for heretics, institution spread in true faith provinces. We stay loyal to the Holy See. No, I don't think so. Uh, Reformation missions. The Reformation is our feature. Of course. Join the Reformation. Uh, safe to say we have done that. Uh, is Christian, but is not Orthodox or Catholic, huh? Okay, so I need to re-ally up with some of these guys down here. Is that what that's saying? Yeah, a lot of these guys just really don't like me. Let's go ahead and use our couple of our diplomats for that. Uh, Advancement of Religion Act. Sounds good. I like conversions. I like converting lands. And just like that, we are in a good spot, right? We're going to finish our idea group. We are in a good spot. Lads, if you are enjoying and you want to see more Scandinavia, <laughs> make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe for more. By the way, I should show you this. We definitely got the Sweden is uh, not overpowered right here. There you go. But if you guys are excited to see more like this, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe for more. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed uh, and ding the bell, you'll get notified whenever we upload new videos. So that's a great way to keep up to date with the channel. If you want to see what's going on on the Discord, subreddit, Twitter, they're all linked in the description, as well as my Patreon, where as little as $5 a month, you get early access to every video that goes out on Schubert. So it's a great way to support the channel and also get a little something, something in return. It's all very much appreciated, but that is all I've got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later.